Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Corin, also known as the Kitten Choreographer, and I am a teen with a passion for animal rescue and, in particular, kitten rescue. So for today's video, we're back with whatever number episode of my series where I talk about coat colors of cats. And today we are talking about brown tabbies. I currently have a brown tabby and a brown and white tabby in my rescue. They're really little, so I don't really have a good grasp on their personalities yet, other than that they're really loud and don't like me handling them <laughs> because I'm not their mom. But I do have a resident cat that is brown, so I do have a pretty good grasp on her personality because I've had her for several years. Also, like, I've also had other brown tabby fosters in the past. They were a while ago, but I still remember kind of what they were like. But I start off all of these videos by saying that the brown tabby, it's a coat color. It's not a breed. There's no brown tabby, the breed. It's like a coat color. And so we're going to be talking about the coat color. So for these videos, I normally set it up where I talk about genetics, like why the cats are the color that they are, personality, and then fun facts. The genetics section is science-based. I've done research and it is all hopefully correct. There is scientific research that the genetics section is like real and what it is. But the personality section is really just speculation-based. It is just for fun. It is just what people have said their cats are most like. It's just for fun because um, certain breeds do have certain traits. They're not that prominent, but certain breeds do have certain traits, but because we're just talking about a coat color, they're not, like I'm not guaranteeing that your cat that is brown will have these traits. I just wanna make that clear. But yeah, I'm gonna go get the brown tabby that I currently have. So this is Azalea, she's only two weeks old, and I really can't hold her for long because she starts to scream, like her eyes aren't even all the way open. But Sunny will come get her in just a second or really want me to put her back. But this is the brown tabby I currently have. Just wanted to show her real quick. I don't really know what her personality is like much yet because this is what she does. Yep, there's Sunny. You want her back? How about I put her back? Last time I tried to film with a kitten, she stole the kitten from my hands. So I just wanted to put her back before Sunny picked her up. But um, my resident cat is Serena. She's brown with a little bit of white, but mostly brown. And then I have had three brown tabby fosters before. It was a while ago, but these were my bug litter. Butterfly, bumblebee, and dragonfly. I don't remember them too, too much, but I do remember them a good amount. Like they're not super fresh in my mind, but I do remember them. So let's go ahead and move on to the genetic section of the video. So this, is going to be slightly repetitive from my gray tabbies video just because when it comes to like specific types of tabbies there's not always specific information available for each type of tabby but i do have a little bit more information so i've mentioned this part in videos before but the tabby markings are caused by the agouti gene and this gene is a, a gene obviously i just said that but there's also such a thing as the agouti hairs on a cat. And these hairs are basically any hairs that are multiple colors. I found them on my brown tabby before. It's basically like it starts at the base one color, then it changes to a different color, and then it changes back to that color. Normally, for example, in this case, it would be dark brown, light brown, dark brown. Uh, this is mostly what forms the tabby pattern, but it is like a multicolored hair. It's They're pretty cool looking when I find them like on the ground from when my cat sheds. But anyway, back to the agouti gene, there are two possible alias of this agouti gene. So there is the dominant capital A, which makes the cat agouti, and then there's the recessive lowercase a, which makes the cat not agouti. And um, if you know anything about biology, the combos capital A, capital A, and capital A, lowercase a, make the cat agouti. But if there's the combo lowercase a, lowercase a, that was when the cat would not be agouti. A quick thing to mention, I wanted to do some scientific research on why all tabby cats have that M marking on their forehead, and they're, like, it's just because of genetics. That was, like, the best answer I could find, just because of genetics, and there are lots of myths about why tabby cats have this marking, so if you want me to share more of those in another video, I can. I know in some video I remember delving into it just a little bit, but I, I don't remember which one, sorry. But I will link the playlist down below to all the other videos in the series if you are interested in binge watching all about different cat colors. One thing to note is that brown tabbies most resemble wild cats. They are good at camouflage and they resemble the African wild cat that they are descended from. They are also the most common cat color 
I don't know, I would have guessed black, but I guess it's most common. The most common is the brown tabby. So now let's go ahead and move on to the personality section. And again, this is not science-based. This is just, you know, what a few articles said. So brown tabbies are known to be very affectionate. One article stated they are friendly, intelligent, sassy, and happy-go-lucky. And let me just go ahead and say, like, if I have room in the description box, all the articles will be linked below that I kind of perused through to gather my information for this video. One thing I do like to know is that personality that I found is a very broad, and of course, every cat is going to have a different personality, so because brown tabbies are the most common, you will be able to find one that is perfect for you. That was pretty short, but I am going to delve into the brown tabbies I know. Azalea, like I said, she's so little, it's really hard to tell what her personality is going to be, but my resident cat Serena is very affectionate, but she's also very scared. You know, she's a scaredy cat, and you can always zoom away. Anytime someone wants to touch her that she's not in the mood, zoom away. Like, she has to be in the mood for you to pet her. And then she does get affectionate and will sit in your lap. But she has to be in the mood to pet you. She's a very peculiar cat. Yeah, she's just very peculiar. And then the bugs were very sweet. They started off kind of hissy just because they were scared. But once they were socialized, they were super playful, super sweet, super affectionate. They were really good with kids because we introduced them to my siblings. They were good with my dog. They were just very great cats. And sorry if this video is not gonna be as long as some. They're just like, I guess brown tabbies are a more boring color, so there just wasn't that much information on them actually that I could find. But um, let's start a discussion in the comments about what your brown tabbies are like. But I do have four fun facts for you. And this one I actually found pretty interesting. I hadn't heard it before. But the term tabby comes from a French word meaning, uh, let me look at my notes, stripe silk taffeta. So it is speculated that tabby cats were named after silk. Number two is that all tabby patterns originated from the mackerel pattern, which is the pattern of the African wild cats. So brown tabbies, they're very old cats. Like as soon as cats were domesticated, they were brown tabbies. I found that pretty cool. And also there are many different types of tabby pattern. There's like mackerel, spotted, blah, blah. There is a ton. Would you guys like me to do a video on all the different types of tabby patterns? Cause I have that on my list now. And if you guys are interested, I can do it. I think I already mentioned this, but another fun fact is number three, brown tabby cats are great at camouflage in the wild like in long grasses and stuff, they look very close to actual wild cats that need to be camouflaged. And four, I normally list several famous brown tabbies, but there honestly aren't that many, unfortunately. There are lots of celebrities that favor orange cats, lots of famous orange cats are very similar, but brown tabbies, like I guess because they're common, they're boring. But I did find little bub. I, I remember when little bub was alive, unfortunately they passed away, but little bub was a great figure of a disabled kitty that, that made it big. I've only been filming for 13 minutes, so I know this video is gonna be very short, but thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more kitten-related content. I upload on Sundays and on Wednesdays if I can, and if I can't, then I upload whenever I want to. Also, please make sure to leave any thoughts or questions that you have down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching again, and goodbye.